English, baby. All right, welcome to English Baby. I'm Jason here with Weird Al Yankovic. How are you today? I'm well, Jason. Thank you so much for asking. I appreciate your concern and my well-being. Oh, good. Well, you've got a children's book coming out real soon. Uh, can you tell us about that? It's a uh, it's a book for kids. It's a picture book. Uh -huh. It's called When I Grow Up. It's basically uh, uh, a story about a, a kid that goes to show and tell, and he sort of has an overactive imagination, and he just kind of riffs on all the cool and amazing things he wants to be when he grows up. Grow up is like a pretty common idiom, you know, and, and it can also be like an insult. You know, you can say to somebody, grow up. Right. Can you tell us like what that means to like tell someone to grow up? Well, that particular phrase it probably means that you're being immature, that you need to uh, be a little bit more adult-like in your social conventions. Um, and in my case, though, it was more about talking about what professions th this right. kid wants to be, like when, he, when he's older, when he's an adult, when he has to uh, make his own living. So it talks yeah. about the various uh, vocations he's considering. So did you want to be a, a comedian and a musician when you grew up, or did you have other ambitions at a young age? Truthfully, when I was a kid, I... I I, I was a little bit more uh, realistic. I never really thought that I'd be able to make a living doing the kind of thing I'm doing now. I always thought, well, I'll, I'll probably have to have a real job. In fact, when I was 12 years old, I decided I was going to be an architect okay. because I had some aptitudes in math and I was pretty artistic and I, I loved my drafting class. And I thought, well, you know, I can design things and, and, you know, get my art out that way. And I found out in college that I was okay, but I, I wasn't passionate about it and I wasn't uh, uh, more talented than the other kids in school. I was average at best. And I thought, well, gosh, I, do I want to be going through my life uh, being me mediocre right. at, at something? I, I'd rather, you know, be excited about something and, and you know, be at the head of my field. Yeah. Uh, so it was it was kind of a strange time for me because I graduated college with a degree that I was pretty sure I was never going to use. Okay. And thankfully, I got a few lucky breaks, and uh, uh, now I get to be Weird Al for a living. All right. When you're being Weird Al for a living, is, is there anyone in your life who's ever said, like, Weird Al, you need to grow up, you know? And Probably. Uh, if, if uh, Certainly not, not in the last few decades. Right. <laughs> Uh, no, I mean, uh, my, my parents were always very supportive. I mean, they, they basically always said whatever I wanted to do. They, they realized that, you know, I wasn't just a goof off, that I was, just, I was a valedictorian in my high school as a straight-A student. If I wanted to take a stab at show business, it wasn't, you know, some kind of flighty uh, uh, impulse that I hadn't put any thought into. It was something that, you know, I really wanted to make an honest effort at. Well, thanks so much, Weird Al. Can I get you to give me a high five say English baby? English baby. All right. <laughs>